what is up everybody welcome to today's video and in my hands <laughs> um, I have the Phantom GT2 Elite in the white crimson and volt colorway basically what all the pros are wearing I haven't seen many pros wear any of the other two colorways that they have most everybody's wearing this colorway or they're wearing just the first model uh, first edition I don't know however you want to consider it the phantom gt1 or they're wearing this colorway um i wasn't going to check this boot out or do a review on it simply based off of the first uh phantom gt i just it didn't fulfill expectations for me i think when i tried it on i, I don't have problems breaking in boots i don't i've never really received blisters or anything like that even just putting on boots and going straight to a game i don't know knock on wood i don't know if it's just my playing style or or my feet i'm lucky I, i've never gotten blisters i'm wearing a right fitting pair of boots um, in my size nothing like that um and i don't really even uh, break in boots that much now as I'm older, I do a little more. Before, I never really worried about that. Um, and when I tried on the the first Phantom GT, I just something just was telling me this this isn't for you. This boot isn't for you. So I didn't even do a play test. I simply tried them on and said, "All right, that's it. I'm returning these. I'll get something else, or uh, save my money." Uh, so here we are into the second one. I wanted to give another shot. I wanted. To, um give it another try to see if maybe i was just missing something because obviously somebody there's people out there that have to like it otherwise they wouldn't have made a part two um but yeah so let's uh open it and take a look see what you get of course this comes in your gray or silver box this has been going on since what after the 2018 world cup around that time so open it up and then you have your Phantom GT here. Now this red on TV and in pictures, it looks a lot pinker. It looks brighter, more like the insole. Um, but for some reason, when you have it in hand, it doesn't look too bright. It's actually pretty cool in, in the vault. Weird design. Um, I don't feel this is gonna be as popular just because they, it's almost the same boot as the first one. They haven't really changed anything. I think what they have changed to me, looking at it right now, the texturing on the, the boot itself. Before it was like some rubber, rubberized, I don't, I don't even know what, what they could be called. Um, and they were placed in certain parts of the boot. This almost reminds me more texturing of what was on the the Phantom Vision, if I'm not mistaken, on the triangle triangular part um, that was in the middle or in the instep of the shoe. That rem it reminds me more of that texturing. So they kind of changed that, I would say. But everything, the shape is the same. Sole plate, the same. Um, now looking at this, this is one thing that people talked about. Um, I can already. I've been wearing a ten and a half. For a very long time um, and I can tell right away that these are already a little bit longer than your normal ten and a half just by looking at it just because I'm really into shoes I've been doing it a long time been wearing a ten and a half so I know I can already tell that this is a little bit longer than your normal ten and a half hopefully when I try it on um, it's not too bad but then you just got your phantom right there hopefully it's not too bad where i gotta um, return them or something because i plan on wearing these and actually give them a test and doing a play test here soon um yeah there's a, there's a one here's your other one of course gotta have two right left and right um so yeah but basically it's almost the same thing and i think that's why pros are still just wearing the the first one and some of them decided just to stay in that uh, but most everybody, I would say, is wearing the, the second one. And of course, you have your, get rid of this box. You have your string bag right here. 
it's got the fake texturing on it of the Phantom GT. Sorry, annoying bag. Um, but yeah, so here are the boots in a size 10 and a half US. They come in at 8.6, which is uh, it's, it's it's light, I would say. Light for standards, even for today's standards, it's still pretty light. Um, and that has, oh, that was with the paper. So let's take out the paper and let's weigh it again. 8.2. All right, guys. So here they are on my feet. Um, yeah, the fit. Uh, I don't have the same, same sensation that I had with the first ones where kind of felt like I had my feet on like switch my left on my right and my right on my left and the instep here. So that is a good thing. Um, but again, they do run a little bigger than normal. So I would say, um, not a full, not a whole half size bigger. For instance, I measured these to a size 11 boot that I have, and it's still a little bit under. So it's in between. I would say what other people have said, if your boots are fine the w right now, the way they are, um, just stay true to size. But if you have a little bit more room, let's say, let's say you're wearing a size nine and that fits a little big. Um, I think drop down to an eight and a half, but if your nine fits good, then I would say, um, just stay in your size nine. But again, they do run a little bit bigger than the normal. I don't know. I don't, <laughs> I never understand why that happens or brands do that because you have a mold of a shoe. What is the point? And they do look like, I don't, I don't know. Maybe my eyes are really just used to seeing, you know, a certain size that I can just tell when a shoe is bigger than the size is supposed to be, but they feel comfortable. I would say a lot of people complain about blisters in the back. So we'll have to see when I test them out. Um, but yeah, I'm going to do a whole vlog on these where I do play tests and also, um, show you guys how I break in my boots. I guess I, I can do that all in, in one and hopefully you guys uh, will benefit from that. But yeah, for now they feel okay. They don't feel um, too big at the moment. Uh, I do want to measure them, which I'll probably do I'll talk about it in my vlog, but I almost feel like they're more narrow at the toe box than like a mercurial. Cause a lot of people said these are just mercurials with like some grip texture control, something like that. So I'm curious as to see if that is true. They feel more narrow. They almost feel as if they were an older mercurial silo, um, with texturing for sure, but not anything now. I feel like the mercurial has slowly gotten wider, I guess, in the toe box area, especially than previous versions. But yeah, so far these feel okay. Even being that yeah, quarter inch, um, longer than normal size, but we'll see how that affects my performance in them. So thank you guys for watching. We'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.